first episode of my tutorial series on Microsoft SQL Server 2014 tutorials for beginners. So without further delay, let's move to our tutorial series. So first of all guys, you will need to download the ISO file of Microsoft SQL Server 2014. I have already downloaded uh, the ISO file. Uh, I will provide the link to download it in my description below. So I will show you how to install after downloading the ISO file. First of all, you will need to just open the ISO file by double clicking on it. Then click on setup.exe. Click on yes. Okay. Then we'll wait for it to install it. It will pop up the installation process now you will see this pop-up screen here in the left side uh, we have to click on installation and click on new SQL server standalone installation or add features to an existing installation okay then another pop-up screen will appear so after a few minutes uh, another pop-up screen will appear if you don't have the uh, product key you can just use this evaluation or express edition it is free uh, and there are some features you will not get on this this versions of sql server 2014 but i am using i have a product key so i will just check on enter the product key then click on in, then insert the product key and click on next I will just click on ISF the terms if you do not check on ISF the license terms then the next button will not appear after clicking on this checkbox we get the next button we do not need to check on this so I'll click on next then I'll click on use Microsoft update to check the updates then next it will check if my PC is eligible for Installing Microsoft SQL Server 2014 or not, it will take some time. So let's wait. So it has successfully checked, but this one Microsoft Windows firewall warning, so it will not make any problem. So click on next. Okay, SQL Server feature installation or all feature I will just click on all feature because I may need some other some uh, most of the features in SQL Server 2014 so I will check on this radio button all feature with default then click on next I will just uh, okay okay then I will just click on next Then it will take some time. If you uh, do not, if you haven't installed uh, Microsoft .NET 3.5 or 3.6, it will cause some error. So if that error appears in your screen, then you need to download uh, three, uh, .NET 3.5 or .NET 3.6 as the message uh, source. So, so I have already downloaded, so I do not have any problem. So I will just click on next. Okay, I'm gonna click on next. Then we'll have to add the user. So my user is busy Thava 33 Cyrus busy Thava 33. I don't need to add another one. So I will just I will just uh, leave Windows authentication authentication mode. I will not use this. I will use Windows authentication mode. So I so it's already checked so I will click on next then here we have to add a user I will add add current user then my current user will appear here if you want to add another user you can click on add and add another user so click on next uh, install and configure uh, so I will uh, leave the uh, default settings uh, and click on next uh, again I have to add a user I will add add current user then click on next controller name 
I will give Cyrus. You can give any name, then click on next. Okay, then I will click on install. Uh, it will install SQL Server 2014 on my PC. I have not uh, got any problems by now. So let's hope it will successfully install uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2014 on my PC. It will take uh, some time, so I'll come back uh, when it's when the installation is completed successfully. So let's go somewhere else. Let's have coffee or something else. So guys, I'm back and our installation is almost complete. So it should be completed by now. So let's wait a few minutes, then we'll good. We'll be good to go. Okay guys, we have successfully installed Microsoft SQL Server 2014 on our PC. Let's wait for final pop-up screen. This is the final pop-up screen. That's that says complete. Your SQL Server 2014 installation completed successfully with product updates. So let's click and close and check if our SQL Server has install successfully or not and if it's working or not for this i will just go to sql server sql server 2014 management studio just i'll just pin to start and pin to taskbar for easy access then click on this icon so it should start without any error so I'll just try to log in if okay. Okay. I'll just have to charge. So I'll just click on connect. So my SQL server is successfully installed and it is connected successfully. Uh, I'll just try to connect it with the local so i will just type local and connect so it's connecting with local and cyrus both okay so this is it guys we have successfully installed our microsoft sql server 2014 on our pc so if you have any problem while installing microsoft sql server 2014 on your pc then don't forget to comment below if you like this video and would like to see more tutorials on how to create database create table or insert updated data in microsoft sql server 2014 then don't forget to guys first of all we will need to open our ms sql server 2014 for this tutorial series i'm using sql server 2014 version if you have not installed any version of ms sql server or do not know how to install ms sql server then don't forget to watch my previous video on how to install ms sql server 2014 in your pc i'll put the link in the description below so let's open our ms sql server 2014 then click on connect connect our database you can connect with cyrus or your username or with your local database so first of all i'll click on new query to write our query to create alter and drop database first of all i will uh, list all the database in my system for this we have to write select asterisk from sas dot basis so just select the query and execute so we have all the database in our system we so let's create our database to create just type create database and database name database name i will give database name as test database so again select this query create database and database name our database name to database and click on execute 
so our command in successfully executed that means we have successfully created our test database to view our database i will just select this query that is select asterisk from sys the databases and execute it so we have our database uh, at last the test database so we have successfully created our first database let's change the name or of our database from test database to sample database so we have to write a query that is alter database and database name is test database modify name equals to sample database so we are changing our database name uh, from test database to sample database so this is the query that is alter database older database name modify name is equals to new database name so i'll just select this query and execute it so the message is message shows that the database name sample database has been set so i will see our database so so the test database should be changed to sample database so i'll just select this query and execute it so we have successfully changed our name test database to sample database so now let's try to delete the database to delete our database we have to write a drop query that is drop database and database name that is sample database so just select this query and execute to drop our or drop or delete our database so i will just click and execute so command completed successfully so i will just select this query and execute it so we do not have our sample database anymore it is successfully deleted this is the query to select all the database in our system this is the query to create our database this is the query to rename the database and this is the query to drop database so this is it using our query to create alter and drop database uh, so i will just save this query for future use i will upload this query and put the link in the description below so just press ctrl and s to save it and then you can save anywhere so this will be create alter and drop database so I, i'm saving in desktop in dot sql format so i'll just click and save i'll just click now let's uh, let's see how we can create our database without using a query that is gui mode so just go to database and i will just expand it we do not have any database yet so to create a new database just right click and click on new database then give a new database name that will be test database and click on ok so we have successfully created our test database uh, and to rename it just click on this and right click and click on rename so type the name you want to give sample database so we have successfully changed our database name from test database to sample database without using query and if you want to delete this database we can delete our database by just right clicking it and on uh, clicking on delete so it will ask for permission so click on ok to delete so we have successfully deleted this database so guys we have successfully created altered and deleted database using query as well as gui mode so if we are in guys first of all we need to open our ms sql server 2014 i have already pinned ms sql server management studio in my taskbar so i'll just click on this icon and it will start so i will connect my database engine using local uh, just type local inside the parenthesis and click on connect so this is the window let's click on new query and we'll have to select the database i have created a sample database in my 
database for database folder if you, if you do not have any databases created in your system then you have to create a database i already made a video on how to create alter and drop database in the previous episode so if you don't know how to create a database then go back and watch my video so i'll just select my sample database use sample database select and execute so my selected database is sample database now to create a table i will write a query that is create table and table name will be tbl underscore user then we have to give the column name column, column name will be user underscore id and its data type will be integer then full name full name will be pair care and we have to sp specify the length of the column column name so the length will be 100 and then gender gender will also be a var care of 10 so the maximum uh, length of var care is 255 then we'll add another field called is it will be integer so for now we will create these four columns just select this query and execute it so the command is completed successfully so let's see if our table exists or not to check this i will write a query select query select a stick from tbl underscore user so i will execute it so we have successfully created our table uh, and we have four columns that are user id full name gender and age so let's try to uh, all change the table name using the query it uh, i will show you one method that is not most preferable uh, most of the people prefer to delete the table and recreate it so that's the right way to uh, alter the table or change the table name but i will show you how you can uh, change the table name with a single line of code that is sp underscore rename then we need to give the old uh, table name uh, inside the quotes single quotes so our old table name is tbl underscore user then comma then we have to give a new table name it will tbl underscore new user so semicolon then i will just select the query and execute it so this is this shows a warning message but query is successfully executed so we have uh, renamed our table name from tbl users to tbl new user just try to select the tbl user so we do not have tbl invalid object name that means we do not have tbl user table instead we have changed its name to tbl new user so let's check if this table exists or not so our table name is successfully changed from tbl user to tbl new user this so this is the way to change the table name using a single line of code so let's write a query to delete the table name from a database to delete the table you have to write a drop query that is drop drop table and we have to give table name tbl table name is tbl underscore new user new user so just select the query and execute it so commands complete completed successfully that means we have successfully delete our deleted our table so let's check if the table new user exists or not just select the query and execute it so invalid object that means we have successfully deleted our table from database this is the query to create table this is the query to alter table and this is the query to delete table so we have successfully uh, created and al created altered and dropped database using query so now i will show you how you can 
do the same things that is create alter and drop table using GUI to do that you have to go to the database where you want to create a table just I will go to sample database then expand it inside the table folder I will expand the table folder and here I will just right click and new and table so here you have to type the column name that will be user underscore id will be integer integer and allow null or not then full underscore name then it will be bear care and length will be 150 then gender it will also be a bear care then bear care then 10 then age age will be integer so this is we will talk uh, about constants in another video there are different type of constant like primary key constant foreign key constant not null constant unique key constant etc so i don't want to make this video longer so i will talk about those constants in another video so we have uh, created four columns for our table uh, after creating the column for the table you you will have to just press ctrl and s to save the table and give the table name table name will be tbl underscore user so just press ok so we have successfully created our table go to the tables right click and refresh so it shows uh, our table our created table here if you want to change the table name or rename the table name then you just right click on table and go to rename then type the name you want to change it to that is new user so we have successfully changed our table name from tbl user to tbl new user if you want to delete the table it is easy to do from gui just go to the table table and right click and delete so it shows the confirmation box so click on ok to delete so we have successfully deleted our table so guys this is it we have successfully created altered and drop table using uh, query as well as gui mode so if you had any confusion okay guys first of all we need to start our ms sql server management studio so i have pinned the ms sql server in my taskbar so i will click on ms sql server icon to start it then it will open and we have to connect our database engine using local server just click and connect it will connect so i have already created a sample sample database you see here if you don't know how to create database in ms sql server 2014 i would recommend you to watch my previous video on how to create database so in sample database I, I have created a table called tbl underscore user so we will be adding columns removing columns and modifying some existing columns in this table uh, if you have not created any table uh, you should create one table and if you don't know how to create a table then i would uh, recommend you to watch my previous videos on how to create table so to add uh, to add remove or modify column we will use a uh, query so click on new query then a uh, window will pop up so here we have used sample database if you if you are in another database like master we have to type use sample database then just execute it so it will select as our database called sample database uh, now take a look the structure of our table that the table user select asterisk from tbl underscore user so i'll just look at the structure of my tbl user table so just execute it so in this table we have user id full name address and gender so let's add another column let's add uh, two columns for contact and email for this we will use alter query that is alter table tbl underscore user then add column name will be contact and bear care 
20 and another column will be add email with I think we don't need add this email and burger 150 just select this query and execute it so we have successfully executed the query then let's take a look of our table so we have successfully added two columns that is contact and email uh, now let's remove uh, remove the email column using query to remove the column so we have to type uh, alter query that is alter table tbl underscore user drop column and column name is email so we have to select this query and execute it so we have successfully executed our query so our uh, email column should be deleted deleted from our table so let's take a look I uh, have selected the select query and execute it so we do not have email column anymore so we have successfully deleted our email column from our table using the alter and drop query in MS Excel Server 2014. Uh, now let's try to re uh, change the data type of our contact from varchar to integer. So to do this, we have to write another alter query that is alter table tbl underscore user alter column contact to integer so this query will change the data type of contact column from varchar to integer so just select the query and execute it so we have successfully executed our query so it should have successfully changed from varchar to integer so to check the data type let's take at, uh, a look at our design so contact is successfully changed to integer so let's try to change the data type of gender from barricade to integer we have to do the same query will work on on this so we have to convert our gender column from barricade to integer so I will just change the contact to gender and run the query so I have successfully so command is successfully executed so let's take a look we have to refresh this so I'll just close and again right click and so design so uh, we have successfully changed the data type of gender to integer from barricade so this is the way to this so this is uh, and so so this is the query to add uh, columns in existing table this is the query to drop columns from existing table and this is the query to change data type in our table using query so let's do the same things adding columns removing columns and modifying columns uh, using GUI to do this all we have to do is go to design view to go to design view we have to just uh, go to tables so I will show it from beginning so after connecting to the database we have to expand our databases then go to your database on which your table is located and you have you want to add remove or modify columns so I will go to my sample database then inside the tables then select the tables on which you want to make changes so I will select this table and right click it right click on it then click on design so this will show the design structure of our tables we have one two three four five five columns let's add another column to add another one just click on the empty one and type the column name you want to add that will be email and email will be where care and we have to give the length I will give 140 150 then press ctrl and s to save so we have successfully added our new columns in our table so let's take a look so we have successfully added another column called email 
so in this way we can add another col another column as well so let's add another column it will be guardian u a r d i a and guardian it will be where care 150 so just click on control and s to save so we have successfully saved let's use we do not have guardian column yet now select the query and execute it so we have another column called guardian so this is the way to add new columns in GUI version so let's drop one of the one of the column using GUI to drop or delete column we have to just go to the column which you want to delete and then right click on it then you can there will be a delete column option so click on delete column so we have successfully deleted our contact column let's take a look using our query select the query and execute it so we do not have contact column anymore now let's change the data type of gender from integer to bad card to do this just go here and type Varker and give the length I will give 10 then just press ctrl and s to save it so it will ask for permission to save so to do this all you have to do is go uh, change the settings we can do is go to tools and go to options and click on designers and we have to uncheck this option that is prevent saving changes that require table recreation so to do this we have to uncheck it and click on ok now we can make changes so just press ctrl and s then we have successfully changed our data type of gender column from integer to barker to, to, be, to be sure let's select the query and execute it so we have successfully changed the data type of gender from integer to varchar so this is it guys okay, guys uh, first of all let's start our ms sql server 2014 i have pinned my ms sql server management studio on my toolbar so i'll just click on its icon then we need to connect our database in local server so i'll just select local and click on connect then our database will be connected so i have a sample database in my system here it is and inside the sample database i have a table called tbl user so i'll be inserting data in this table if you do not have your table or database created then uh, you should create one database and a table inside that database if you don't know how to create a table or database in MS SQL Server 2014 then I will recommend you to watch my episode uh, on how to create database and table in MS SQL Server 2014 so guys let's start my query window to insert data so first of all I will use uh, query to select database that is use then database name then it will if it's not selected if our database is not selected in here then we should run this query for this I will first select master database then I will just run this query it will select our sample database so I, I just selected the use sample database query then I will execute it so it has selected sample database successfully so let's see the structure of my table user so i'll just run the select query that is select asterisk from tbl underscore user just select the query and execute it so it has successfully executed the select query and these are my columns in my tbl user table that are user id full name address gender and email and now we will write the query to insert the data in tbl user table so the query is insert into tbl underscore user 
then we will need to write column name that are user underscore id full underscore name then gender then email and guardian then we will need to insert the values for the columns respectively so first user id user id is integer so we do not need to use any quotes i will give user id as one then full name is is a barker so we will use quote to insert the data in full name so full name will be bj and thapa then address is then address is Kathmandu. Then gender is male or female. So one will be male and zero will be female. So one is male. Email is abc at the rate xyz dot com. Then guardian will be anyone. So guys, uh, the red uh, red letters on code are barcode data type, and the one and one are integer data type. So we do not need to use any codes in our integer or decimal or float data type. We need to use codes on barcode data type like text, barcode, etc. So I'll just select this query and run it. So execute it. I think there's a problem. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I have one extra column. Full name. This is not here. Only one is. I inserted an address here, but there was no address. I think I should check my table first I have address here so control Z so it's address. I forgot to mention address here so that was the error I will add address and this this will solve our problem so I'll execute it one two three four one two three four five one two three four five six I still have one list column so I'll just execute it user ID full name address and I don't have gender gender so so guys this is the query to insert data i'll just select the query and execute it so one was affected so we have successfully added the data in our table so let's select the table execute and execute it so we have successfully added here one user id vj name and Kathmandu address gender one email address abc at the right xyz okay guys that's it uh, this is the query to insert data in our database so this is it for today in this episode i have so okay guys first of all we need to start our ms sql server management studio i'll just click on this icon and start my ms sql server then we need to click on connect select local just give this parenthesis and type lcl then click on connect then our database will be connected then let's click a new query to open our query editor so here i will type use sample database sample database is our database name uh, i have created earlier in for this project so i'll just type use sample data to use that database currently i am in master database so i will have to use sample database so i'll just select this query and execute it now we have selected our sample database so i have a table called tbl user inside my sample database 
here it is tbl underscore user so if you do not have tbl user table or sample database database in your system then i recommend you to create sample uh, database or any database you want and then create a table inside it if you don't know how to create database or table then i recommend you to watch my previous videos on creating how to create database and how to create table now i'll just select my table that is tbl underscore user to see the data in my table so this is the query to view all the columns and all the data in my table tbl user so i'll just select this query and execute it so currently i have three users in my tbl user table i have added extra two users so you can add as many users as you can if you don't know how to insert any user then watch my previous video on how to insert data using query in ms sql server 2014 so now i will show you, show you the query to update the data in an existing table so let's assume that this was a wrong name i have to change v to b that a vi here it has a name called vijay thapa now i have to change it to bijay thapa and i will also add another surname that is mogar and this guy has moved to pohra from Kathmandu. so we need to change the name and address of this guy so for this i'll write a update query that is update tbl underscore user set full underscore name is equals to b i j a y thapa and mogar so here it has a v i j a y thapa only and i have i am changing this to b i j a y thapa mogar now column and uh, comma and another column that is address address will be pokhara so i am changing uh, this guy's address from Kathmandu to pokhara so to specify this specific user we have to use a where keyword that is w h e r -E, where user underscore id is user id equals so this we have to change the data of this user id so we will be using this user id so user id equals one that's it guys so just select the query and execute it so one was affected that means we have successfully executed our query now let's see our data so select the select query and execute it so guys we have successfully changed the name from vijay thapa to bj thapa mogar and address from Kathmandu to pokhara so this is it guys and this is the query to update the columns or data in your data in your table so this is it for today uh, in the okay guys first of all we need to start our sql server management studio i will start my sql server using or clicking on this icon so it will pop up your connection window here select local for local database then click on connect so we have successfully connected our database in my system i have a sample database for this tutorial series and inside the sample database i have a table called tbl underscore user so let's open our query editor and i will type use sample database to select my database if it is not selected already i have selected a sample database then i will just uh, view the data in my in my tbl user table so for this i will write a select query that is select asterisk from tbl underscore user then just select the query and execute it so we have uh, three users on my table as you can see here now i will show you how to delete uh, data using query in 
MSG skill server 2014 for this I will have to write a delete query that is delete from tbl underscore user then we will uh, need to specify a user using a where keyword so we will need to we will delete this user that is Bikram Gurung whose user id is 2 so we have to type a where keyword that is where user underscore id equals 2 so this is the query that is delete from tbl underscore user where user underscore id equals 2 so this will del delete the user whose user id is 2 uh, Bikram Gurung has the user id of 2 so this query should delete Bikram Gurung from our table so let's select the query and execute it so we have successfully executed our query and one rows affected query executed successfully so let's view our table once again to see if that user with user id 2 is deleted from our table or not so just execute it so guys we do not have a uh, user with user id 2 anymore so we have successfully deleted our user id and this is the query to delete our data from table using query so guys this is it if you have any confusion till today to insert update or delete data using query in a basic server 2004